Hello and welcome. Uh, this is Nellie Deutsch and it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, nice um, of you to join. Thank you so much. So you can see in the uh, chat box there's a link to the course called Teaching with Technology and there's another link to the PowerPoint presentation. And if you download the PowerPoint presentation or you go through it, you'll be able to uh, get the links. And I'll tell you where the links are as we go. All right, so if you can just uh, let me know in the chat box if you have any questions <laughs> before we get started. And feel free to use the chat box as we go. The chat box is a great way to engage uh, not only with the content, with me, but also with the other participants of the session. So feel free to use it. And you can do as Thomas has, add where you're from. Even though, you know, online, I don't know if it makes that much of a difference where we're from, uh, since uh, we're all in the same area, at least the virtual area. So uh, virtually, we are on WizIQ. <laughs> in a live online session. And the session is about creating videos. So let me just ask you, how many of you have created videos? And if you have, if you could just add, what program did you use? Or if it's a camera, uh, maybe, um, you know, what program you used with the camera once you took it. So if you could add a little bit of information about your experiences, with videos. I can tell you about myself. I've always wanted to create videos with a camera. So I had different video cameras and they weren't that great until the uh, digital camera came along and then it was a lot better. And now it's even better with my Android. So I'm really grateful. I have an Android, not for the cell phone, but just to take videos. And uh, if you're interested, I've got a Samsung 4. <laughs> and it's really great just for videos. Even while traveling by car, I managed to get amazing videos. So uh, that's uh, as far as technology. So uh, Thomas says that he's uh, created videos using PowerPoint presentations. And what did you use for that? Okay, so if you think of something, just feel free to add it in the chat box. And if you could add the link to that, Thomas, that would be great. Today we're going to be discussing two major programs that you can download. One is completely, well, both of them are completely free. The first one is Jing, and I have Jing on my system. And I'm going to show you where Jing sits. Okay, it, it's a little ball. It could be more than a ball. Okay, let me show you um, what it looks like. Just let me know in the chat if you can see me screen sharing. Okay, I took away my um, video and camera as I coughed away. All right, just um, let me know if I'm screen sharing. What I wanna show you is at the top Okay, this little uh, ball, I'm going to click on it. Okay, and I'm going to demonstrate how it works. Okay, so here I am. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, can you see the yellow lines? Just let me know in the chat if you can find the chat because I'm screen sharing. So I'm not sure if you can even hear my voice as I screen share. All right, but you'll see it in a second and you will definitely see it in the YouTube video. 
that I'm creating as we go. So um, I'm going to click on capture an image. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to write today's date. Or you know what, I'll write how many participants there are. Okay, eight. Okay, let's see if I can do that. Okay. And write the number eight. Okay, right now. Okay, and I'll let go of that. And then um, I'm going to save it and add it to the whiteboard. Okay, so this is live jing. I'll call it live jing. Hello, Guadalupe. Good to see you. And then, okay, so I don't know if you saw anything in the screen sharing, but let me add it to the whiteboard. Okay, there's the whiteboard. I'm going to get another whiteboard. Okay, here we are. And I'm going to upload what I just added. Okay, and it's on teaching. There it is, live jing. Okay, this is what I just created with Jink. It's being uploaded and you can see that now. Okay, it's because I'm screen sharing. Hope you can see all that. I'm screen sharing this, the white screen. Yes, thank you, Thomas. That's what I was uh, hoping you would share. That's right. It's called slide speech. Okay, so let's wait for the... Uh, Okay, I hope you can see all that. There we are. Okay, so this is what I created. Okay, with Jink. Jink is really wonderful because you can copy things and paste them on your slides. And that's what I like. I like the fact that I can do that. Okay, so there's the image that I created as we were going. Okay, now I'm going to take you to Jink. All right, so uh, let me go back. Okay, so if you go into, let me stop screen sharing. If you go, there we are. If you go into Jing, just Google Jing, you'll download it for free. How many have downloaded Jing for free? Just let me know in the chat box if you have ever downloaded Jink. You can also create short videos. Oh, excellent. And is your Jink on your screen right now? Do you have your Jink on your screen, on your computer? Hello, John Davy. I was hoping you would come. Uh, in fact, I think that's the reason why I scheduled the class at this time, because I remembered it was a good time in Australia and New Zealand, of course. All right, so please let me know in the chat if you have Jink. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to uh, grab your Jink and do as I did. Okay, do exactly as I did right here. Uh, grab a jing and, okay, this is what I did a few uh, seconds ago, and get a capture, a screen capture, an image of what you see, okay, of the class or any part of the class, okay, and then uh, we'll share that, okay, I'll give you a chance to upload it to the whiteboard, okay, so um, that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to Jing along. If you don't have Jing, by the way, I download Jing everywhere I go <laughs> on everybody's computer. Okay, even the schools that I visit, I always uh, download Jing. It doesn't do any harm. And everybody's always so appreciative. They always, they're always so grateful. Okay, so just let me know in the chat if you've done it, give me a thumbs up if you have uh, captured with your Jing. And if you don't have a Jing, please download it. It shouldn't take long. If you're downloading, 
Jing, let me know by saying downloading Jing. If you've created, managed to create a screen capture of uh, the class right now, let me know. What's nice about Jink is the fact that you can add arrows in different colors. You can write on your Jing capture and highlight different things. Uh, Sharon says, I don't have Jink nor know what it is. <laughs> it's you're gonna love it. <laughs> okay, so um, let's get a Jink. Can someone add the Jing link in the chat for Chiron? Jing is great for everybody, whether you're a teacher or a non-teacher, whatever you do. Hello, Susan, and congratulations. Susan was awarded a very special honor as the UPE of the uh, Wiki Educator for the best page of the month. Okay, Susan, so congratulations. I'm very proud. And Nancy's here too. Nancy, have you ever been awarded the UPE for a Wiki Educator page? I think you have, right? All right, okay, so John, let me uh, get a whiteboard for you. I will give you, okay, John, I'm gonna give you, um, where are you, John? I just Okay, John, I'll give you uh, tools so you can uh, go into the arrow. I hope you see it. It's a green arrow and upload your image. Okay, so we can see how that works. And while John is doing that, anyone else? So Susan, you've got a congratulations. There's a star for Susan for being awarded. Okay, and uh, Susan, I can share the link, or maybe you can. Okay, so Susan, congratulations. And John, are you uploading the image that you just jinged? I hope everybody can hear me. Yes, I can see. Is the sound okay? Because it doesn't seem to be too high. Maybe I should refresh the page. Seems kind of low. Okay, John, how's it going? Did you manage to find the green? arrow so that you can add it's it's like a file so that you can add the image let me know uh, how things are going if there's a problem i can give you a uh, audio so you can also speak but for some reason something is stuck here looks like jing is following me um i'm gonna have to refresh this page <laughs> i think i had it open for about four hours not a good idea okay so uh let me just refresh the page. Okay, I'm refreshing the page because it seems that it's not a good idea. Okay, I refreshed the page. It's a lot better. I can see that. All right, there's what John did. Excellent. Thank you, John. All right, so look, John, you can move it, make it larger by picking up the sides. Okay, I'll let you do that. Okay, make it a bit larger. Excellent. Just you go to the side, you click on it. And then if you click on it, you'll see the four sides. And you just pull on the uh, circles, little circles. The whiteboard's amazing in it by itself. It's also um, by the way, you can also paste the jing that you cut up on uh, Google Drive PowerPoint presentations. And it, it, it's just amazing. All right. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. That's great. All right. So uh, anyone else? How can you make it smaller? You want to add for somebody else? No, we'll give somebody else a new whiteboard. 
anyone else. But I'm lost. What are you all doing? Well, what we're doing is, thank you, John. Uh, what we're doing, can somebody explain what we're doing? John, let me give you the mic so you can explain what you did uh, so Guadalupe will understand. And there, I'll put it in the middle. So you can move things along because it's, um, there we go. You can also make it larger by pulling at the sides. You know what? Let me uh, perhaps demonstrate how this is done. It's really exciting. Okay, let's see if... Um, I can get another. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, I'm accepting the risk of using Java on my Apple. That sounds funny. All right, Helena, you made it. I hope you're not wearing your pajamas. Are you? All right, so notice what I'm doing here. This is the jing that John had added. I'm just making it larger by pulling. You see at the sides, you click on it. You can also move it. I hope that's not making you dizzy. Okay, and pulling at the side. So, John, I try to get, I'm trying to give you audio, video and audio, but it doesn't seem to want to go through. All right, so thank you so much, John, from Australia, I believe. Anyone else have a... Uh, see, what John did, he created an image, which is really great. And how do you do that? You go to your Jing, and um, that's how you do it. You grab a section. Guadalupe, do you know how to use Jing? Anyone else have a uh, an image that they created with their Jing right now? Anyone? I see we've got, okay, there's mine and there's John's. And if you've got one of yours, that will be great. Okay, let's continue um, with all right, so if you've got Macs, you can download Jing for free on a Mac or on a Windows. Okay, I'll keep looking at the chat to see if anyone else has captured the screen. Okay, great. So Guadalupe, can you copy the slide that's uh, right now in the uh, on the whiteboard? Can you get an image? It's not really copying. Can you get an image of it and then uh, save it and upload it? Okay. Um, what I'd like you to do, everyone, if you've got a Jing right now, is simply to get an image. Okay. I'm going to do it myself. I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can. Okay. The Jing is uh, on top. Okay, it's right there just above. I'm going to go into it, click on Capture, bring it. Okay, I hope you can see that. And then I'm going to get an arrow and go like this. Okay, change the color and make it green. And then you can write on it and say hello in green. I can also change the color midway. I can have all kinds of colors. Okay, other colors. Here is the scale. Okay, let's make it, uh, I don't know, pink. Pink. There, it's pink. Okay, I can do that. And I can make it thicker or thinner. Okay, lots of wonderful tools on this free Okay, and it's very, very useful. I create all of my videos using the Ming, uh, the Jing. Okay, so this is, I'll call it Jing 2 and add it to the same. Okay, and that's how I did it. Now let me show you how I can upload it. Okay, so I'm going to go into this little, first of all, I'll open a new uh, window. I'll go into this part here and get the Jing. I think I called it Jing 2. There it is. And then I'll just wait around until it comes up. You don't, you don't copy it. You have to save it in this case. Okay, and then I'll make it larger. Okay, pick on the sides and uh, let's make it larger. Okay, there. 
sometimes it doesn't want to become big too fast. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is really, really important. I'll stop screen sharing. Okay, it's really, really important because um, it saves you a lot of time if you're using a PowerPoint. Like Thomas says, it's a great way to uh, work on your videos, okay, from PowerPoint presentations. All right, next. Next, we're going to use Screencast-O-Matic. How many of you have used Screencast-O-Matic? That's right, you save it, Guadalupe, and then when you're ready, let me know, and then you can bring it up to the whiteboard and share it with us, okay? So just let me know in the chat box if you have used Screencast-O-Matic before. You know that I use Screencast-O-Matic for all my videos. I use Jink, uh, PowerPoint slides, and Screencast-O-Matic. That's all I use. And of course, uh, YouTube or Vimeo. Great, Nancy. Sometimes you use Screener. I do not use Screener. I cannot take Screener. <laughs> all right. I know a lot of people use Screener. I guess it's just... Uh, you know, getting used to one tool and, and finding how great it is. So, Sharon, um, you say you haven't? You haven't used it. All right. So, write it down. It's Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, Screencast-O-Matic. If you Google it, I believe it's .com. Okay. So, uh, there's the link to Screencast-O-Matic. It's free. But if you want to use the tools, I think it's something like $15 a year or uh, $30 for three years, something like that. It's amazing, amazing. And you're going to love it because it's just like Jing. It has the arrows and you can write on it. Um, you can actually write on the video as you screen. You use it. Great. As you screen share. All right. So. This is uh, Screencast-O-Matic. There it is, Screencast-O-Matic. And the idea is to practice. I'm glad Maria came. It's really important to practice, practice, and practice uh, in creating videos. It, you know, the more you practice, you know, they say that if you do something 10 minutes a day, within a couple of months, you're the expert. So practice. Do a little, you know, just a little one. Uh, every day, and you'll get the hang of it. All right, this is a demonstration of how it works. Okay, so this is actually the layout. You go to your Screencast-O-Matic, which is either on the cloud, or you can have it on your computer. You can download it, and then this is your recorder, you choose whatever microphone system you're using. This is the bar, just like WizIQ has this bar that you can see whether it's going up and down, it's loud enough, mine seems to be kind of low again. And then you can decide on the screen, you can have um, HD, and there are three kinds of HD, different sizes, and you could also have the highest level. You can also have your webcam on, okay, which is really, really great. And uh, you can resize it, of course, by moving these from top down and so on. So it's really, really great. No, not at all, John. Not at all. You don't need to. No. No, uh, they don't need to have Jing to be able to view. It's just an image. <coughs> Number one, you can just add that in the chat. Exactly, Chiron. Very good. And what's number two? That's right, Valentina. Very good. What's number two? It's the camera? 
nude. <laughs> Number two is not the camera. It's the speaker. Yeah, you decide your audio. Actually, it's your settings. Okay, what microphone system are you using exactly? And number three is really important because you're going to be watching that. It's really important to watch. Uh, even on WizIQ, it's the same kind of bar. It's the volume. Exactly. You want to make sure that it's working. Okay. And then number four, of course, is the size. Okay. And it's also the resolution. Okay. That's where you have your HD in three sizes. Number five, let's see if you can guess number five. What's number five? That's right, Thomas. It's the frame per second. Very good. Number five, new 34. What's 34? That's the webcam. That's right. Number three is the bar. It's the volume to make sure that when you record yourself, that uh, you'll be heard because if it's really low, you're not, nobody's going to hear you. Uh, number six is your settings. That's right. Very good, Sharon. That's right. It's um, number five is your webcam. Exactly. That's right. For the microphone is a separate mic. No, why? If you're using a laptop, I think it's fine. Um, I just use, you see what I'm using. I use this. This is my cell phone. Okay. It's a cell phone. Um, I use it for my smartphone and, and that's all. It's, it's just, a, I use a Mac, but you can use it also for any other system. Hands-free. <laughs> exactly. That's what's great. Of course, today we don't have the, uh, the stand the standing mic. I remember in the old days, the st I had my, my first mic was a nightmare. <laughs> it, it, I had to put it in front of my, um, <laughs> I try to get my husband to help me. It, it was a nightmare. It was one of those things that stood and it kept falling. Anybody else have experience with the first mics that were on your desk and they would fall all the time? <laughs> my cat used to try <laughs> Really? Yeah, it's so nice that, you know, we've come such a long way with technology. Radio? <laughs> okay. Uh, somebody was saying, you know, if, if there's um, an emergency and there's no electricity, what are we going to do? Because there aren't any transistors anymore or radios. What do we do? You know, if God forbid there's some kind of an emergency. I mean, you can't get radios, you know, battery radios anymore these days. Everything is on the internet. But what happens when there's no electricity? We're going to be stuck. All right. So something to think about. Well, maybe not, not a good idea to think about. All right. So this is your, um, okay, your screencast-o-matic. Take a look at it. Okay, uh, this is an example of what I created a video and this is how I did it with uh, Screencast-O-Matic and then number one, I gave it a title. I added it to YouTube. You can also get a video file. You can add to Vimeo because a lot of people don't get YouTube. They don't get Google in their countries. So the option of Vimeo is great. You can also add it to Google Drive box. And not only that, notice I'm continuing. You can edit. This is amazing. You can actually edit your video. Um, and you can also uh, upload it to box. Aren't they great, Nancy? Dropbox. And you can get screenshots, okay? Which means that you don't need Jing. All right, but I still can't live without my Jing for my uh, PowerPoint presentations. And I just wanted to show you um, what I created. Okay, here's the media player. This is the video that I created, a, I think, a few hours ago. It's so fast. You can create videos so quickly that even I'm amazed. 
at how fast. There it is. Welcome to Moodle MOOC 3 on WizIQ. This is the Moodle website where you'll have a chance to practice and get a certificate at the end of the month. And Moodle MOOC 3 will begin on February 1st and end on February 28th. So are you invited to join? Okay, I just wanted to show you. These are all screenshots, okay, using Jing. And notice what I'm using here. Let's go back here. See, I'm using the arrows. Let's see where? All right, there are three courses. One is a practice. Okay, so the arrows as I go. There the arrow. Or you can access all of this by dropping. All right, uh, sorry about the music. I know a lot of people don't like my music, but I just love it. Okay, so I want to have a good time, and I do, <laughs> using the clappy. I just love the clappy, all right? I, I, I just like it. I, I'm just a rapper, I guess, at heart. Yeah, it is too loud, but I like it. I know it's crazy. Uh, I also like classical music and the opera, so I'm a very diverse music lover, okay? I just like sound. So that's just an example of um, how I use Jing, okay? And I just wanted to show you two really important things. When you upload your Jing file to uh, YouTube, okay, you can watch it full screen. So number one is full screen. And you can also get the HD by going into number two. Okay, that's your setting. Notice it's the same setting that you have on Google for your Gmail, on Moodle, and on YouTube. Well, yeah, the volume must have been too loud. Sorry about that. 